I was very fortunate to be blessed with the opportunity to be growing up in the USA. And my parents were very progressive in the sense that they wanted us to play sports because they saw good, you know, morals in it, you know, teamwork, work ethic, camaraderie, discipline. And they put us in that, not, not caring about the results. And then finally, we grew taller and all of a sudden it created limitless opportunities for us. Go to Stanford University, play in the WNBA. Now I'm an NBA analyst for ESPN. We just hope, like m myself, you know, my hobby is coming back here because I've come back here and I've seen so many young girls that have so much passion for the game of basketball, but they don't have the opportunity because a lot of people look down on young girls that want to do something other or something else. And so to be here and to show them that you're not alone, that you should fight for your passions and also hold down your school academics. It's been a dream come true. So ever since I've played basketball, I've always played with my sister. Um, ever since in middle school, you know, in high school, we won a state championship together. We went to Stanford together and then we get drafted and then we're finally on two different teams. I was with Connecticut Sun, she was with Los Angeles. Then this past year, I got traded to LA because I really, really, really wanted to play with my sister and it's been amazing. I mean, my sister, you think I'm cool, whatever? Nah, she's the real cool one. She's an MVP. She's the president of the WMVPA, our Players Association. I'm vice president, so there's a little nepotism, right? You know, just African style nepotism. <laughs> There's a, there's a huge gap left. Not only was Kobe just the athlete, we talk about that Mamba mentality. Everyone, it doesn't matter whether you're a musician or you're an athlete or you're a scholar, you want that Mamba mentality, that hard work ethic mentality, um, just driven for excellence mentality instilled within you. But then outside of it, like we all know what he does with basketball, but what he did once he stopped playing basketball was even more tremendous. He was an excellent dad. He was always up front and center and putting his daughters, his girls first. To me, that spoke volumes. That is his true legacy. So I'm just hoping that men can see that symbol of a man ally supporting women, supporting young girls, and just be inspired.